to all captains and commanders of armed ships acting by commission from the Congress of the United States of America, now at war with Great Britain. Gentlemen, a ship having fitted out from England before the commencement of this war to make discoveries of new countries in unknown seas under the conduct of that most celebrated navigator and discoverer, Captain Cook, an undertaking truly laudable in itself, as the increase of geographical knowledge facilitates the communication between distant nations in the exchange of useful products and manufacturers and the extension of arts, whereby the common enjoyment of human life are multiplied and augmented and the science of other kinds increased to the benefit of mankind in general. This is therefore most earnestly to recommend to every one of you, that in case the said ship, which is now expected to be soon in European seas, should happen to fall into your hands, you would not consider her as an enemy, nor suffer any plunder to be made of her effects nor obstruct her immediate return to England by detaining her or sending her into any other part of Europe or to America, but that you would treat the said Captain Cook and his people with civility and kindness, affording them as common friends to mankind all the assistance in your power which they may happen to be stand in need of. In so doing, you will not only gratify the generosity of your own dispositions, but there is no doubt of your obtaining the approbation of Congress and your own American owners. I have the honor to be, gentlemen, your most obedient, humble servant, Benjamin Franklin. Even by the standards of the 18th century, it would be hard to find a berth as humble as that of Captain James Cook. The first home that he knew was little more than a hole in the earth, and his life destined to follow in the footsteps of his farm-laboring father. Yet despite all, he would persevere by will and by intelligence to lead an extraordinary life. This book examines his early years, from his birth to his years in staves as a shop clerk. tells and shows the world that surrounded the young James Cook by use of video clips and the interactive images found in an iBook that allow the reader to zoom in to see detail of interest. There are maps, art, and diagrams that explain and supplement the premise of each chapter. And of course, there is a text as it tells the remarkable history of this young man.